For this episode, I will be going for the Spike Weed. This is one of my favorite plants in this game, and it comes along with one of my favorite mutations, Spike Rock. Being able to damage multiple enemies at once in this game is very valuable. Without this ability, late game endless mode would not be possible. So what could possibly be better than splash damage? Well, I'll tell you, being immune to almost all the zombies. That's right, not only is Spike Weed not limited to damaging one zombie, zombie at a time. It also can't be eaten. It isn't immortal though. It can still be run over by Zambonis, destroyed by Jack in the Box zombies, and smashed by Gargantuars. That's where Spike Rock comes in. And while it isn't completely immune, it can still take quite a beating. The only other problem is that it doesn't do that much damage, but coming from something that costs 100 sun, you're getting quite the deal. Using Spike Weed to help is incredibly useful, but only using it can be a huge drawback. To kill any zombie with spike weed, you preferably need to stop them first. To do that, it will cost you some more sun. So then, what's the best plan of action? Probably to play an easy daytime level without water, right? Well, I had a better idea. A nighttime level. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Can you see what- To say that this would make this harder would be to state a truth you guys already know. So why would you? For more challenge? For a greater glory? For some kind of reward? Well, because you don't want to restart the campaign may not roll off the tongue as well as those other suggestions, but it's not wrong. So how hard was using only spike weed on a nighttime level? I don't know how I'm gonna do this. But if I can manage it, it will be amazing. <laughs> oh wait, this, ah. Uh, ignore this, ignore this. I really like these mini games. They may not be very hard, but honestly, that's probably what makes me like them so much. It's when you grind through one level and it takes you ages and then you just get to relax, it's nice. I should really make a review for this game because I've enjoyed it so much. And just like that, it's over. <laughs> oh, it's nighttime. Well, it's gonna be harder. <laughs> it's gonna be, I'm making it more difficult. But I'm gonna need so much sun. The problem is I don't know whether to call them plants or towers. That's like such a huge thing that I've realized. Is I'll call them plants and I'll call them towers within two sentences. I don't think I can do anything about that zombie. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> Well, <laughs> this is not looking good for us. I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now. This might just barely be doable or it might not be doable and I'll have to rethink my entire shed. I need 150 for this row. I haven't even killed a freaking zombie yet. Okay, that row is very far gone. This may be doable. This may just barely be doable. Okay. I might, I might, oh my gosh, wait. One more sun, please, quick. I need this quick, please. <sighs> well, now the most important thing is sun production. This might actually be feasible. There's no reason this should be doable, but I think it is. I think it is. <laughs> I can't believe this. And it's like, I might even do this first try. I cannot believe this. And I did it first try. I'm an idiot who is succeeding. <laughs> I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. First try. <laughs> wow, holy crap. I have no words. <laughs> you can do this. Well, at first it seemed undoable, but then about seven minutes after that claim, I beat the level first try. Probably the most unexpected result I've ever had in this series. At the beginning, the sun was coming way too slow, so I basically gave up letting all the zombies reach the lawnmowers and eat through all my sunflowers. As a last ditch effort, I wanted to plant as many sunflowers as I could, and it Work? Not only did I finish the level, I destroyed it. I probably could have survived three more flags after that. It was just that easy. The zombies bowed before my rows and rows of weaponized, wrathful, wretched weeds and just as fast as it started, it was over. It happened so fast, I decided to play some eye zombie afterwards. This is how it went. If I get buttered... Oh! <laughs> restart time! I'm just gonna restart- oh. Ah, oh, crap. Don't. 
Oh. Okay. Come out of the first one. I don't even remember if that. What is this? <laughs> he still does not like that. Okay, 1,025, that's pretty good. Come on, come on. Oh, that was so close. Okay, unless I get good RNG, this is like over. There we go, 700 left in the bank. Okay, I've never gotten past four. So I guess we'll have to see where this takes us to. Okay, yeah, I probably won't pay. Oh, but this is a record. Nice, five. Oh, oh boy, is it over. <laughs> okay, if I survive, it's not. I'm not gonna say I expected to beat it. Oh, I'm still amazed. And with that, I have completed eight of 22 plants. The difficulty for this is, for lack of a better word, difficult. It definitely should have been harder, but it wasn't. I reckon doing this without lawnmowers would be harder than the potato mines. Although I did do the potato mines in a daytime level. All things considered, I'd give it a four out of 10. I was able to beat the level, but it costed me everything. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.